As we all know, matter consists of gas, liquid, and solid. Each of them has a different properties and characteristic. The study has been done specifically on these three phases in order for us to understand it better. If we give a thought about gas, how do they study? Are there any laws that it obeys or follows? Or is there any assumption that needs to be made in order to understand the properties of gas in a better manner? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Siri Pesara Kimiawa. So back to my question just now, how do we study the nature of gas phase? And the assumption needed when studying about it? Well, yes. There are certain assumptions needed to be done in order to study the characteristic of gas in more effective ways. First assumption, we have to assume the gas has to be perfect. Or in other words, gas has to behave in an ideal condition. In order for gas to become ideal, it needs to obey seven kinetic molecular theory of gases. The theory are, all gases are made up of large number of mini particles called molecules. The second one, large distances separate the molecules so that the actual volume of the molecules is negligible as compared to the total volume of the gas. Third, the molecules are in a state of constant rapid motion in all directions, colliding with one another and also with the walls of the containers. Number four, the molecular collisions are perfectly elastic with no loss of energy and only redistribution of energy during collision. The fifth one, there are no attractive or repulsive forces between the molecules. The sixth, the pressure exerted by the gas is due to the collision between its molecules and the walls of the container per unit area. And last, the average kinetic energy of the gas molecules is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas in Kelvin. In other words, as temperature increases, the average kinetic energy increases. Second assumption, when the gas is perfect, it will obey Boyle's law. Boyle's law stated that at a constant temperature, the volume of a fixed mass of an ideal gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. The formula of calculation related to Boyle's law is as follows. As you can see from the formula, Pressure and volume can be in any unit as long as the unit is same for both sides. There are three graphs that can illustrate this law in a better manner. First graph is the graph of pressure versus volume. As you can see from the picture, the y-axis representing pressure and x-axis representing volume. And these axis of the graphs can be interchangeable. And as you can see as well, the graph is a negative exponential curve shape. The shape of the graph agrees that pressure is inversely proportional with volume. In other words, as pressure of idle gas increases, volume of the idle gas decreases. The second graph is another graph of pressure versus 1 over volume. The y-axis is pressure, but now the x-axis is 1 over volume. When the graph is in such axis, you can see that the shape of the graph is a positive linear graph that starts from the origin. And the gradient of this graph, it represents the value of negative k, which is the value of proportionality constant. As you can see, the graph is a negative exponential curve shape. The shape of the graph agrees that pressure is inversely proportional with volume. In a very simple way to say, as volume of idle gas decreases, pressure of idle gas increases. The third graph is the graph of pressure volume versus pressure. The y-axis is a pressure volume and x-axis is pressure. When the graph is in such axis, you can see that 
the shape of the graph is a straight horizontal graph with the y in the center. Second assumption, when guess is perfect, he will obey Charles Law. Charles Law stated that at a constant pressure, the volume of a fixed mass of an ideal gas is directly proportional to its temperature in Kelvin. The formula of calculation related to Charles Law is as follows. For Charles Law, the unit of temperature has to be in the unit of Kelvin. And how to convert from the E Celsius to Kelvin? The formula is and volume can be in any unit as long as the unit is the same for both sides. For Charles Law, it has only two graphs that can be interpreted. The first graph is the graph of volume against temperature in Kelvin. The y-axis is volume and x-axis is temperature. As you can see, the graph is a positive linear graph that starts from the origin. The shape of the graph agrees that volume is directly proportional with temperature. In other words, as the volume of ideal gas increases, temperature of ideal gas will also increase. And the gradient of the graph representing the value of K, which is the proportionality constant. The second graph is the graph of volume against temperature in degrees Celsius. The y-axis is still volume, but the x-axis is the temperature in degrees Celsius. When the graph is in such axis, you can see that the shape of the graph is a positive linear line that has y-intercept and x-intercept. For the x-intercept, it has a value of negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, which we call this as an absolute zero. The third assumption when the gas has to be perfect is by obeying Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law stated that at a constant pressure and temperature, the volume of a fixed mass of an ideal gas is directly proportional to its amount of ideal gas. In other words, the volume of gas is directly proportional with the mole of gas. The volume occupied by one mole of any gas is we call as molar volume is depending on its temperature and pressure. And as we all know, the molar volume of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is... Well, there you go. I've explained about all the assumptions that needs to be made in order for the gas to become ideal. So a short recap, it needs to obey seven molecular kinetic theory of gases. It needs to obey Boyle's law, Charles law, and also Avogadro's law. So I really hope you guys like this video and if you guys like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and click the bell icon down there for the next video I'll come. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day. See you guys.